Where is the, where is the goat? Ah, oh, God, it's our, they already took the goat down. Yeah, the goat came down yesterday. Yeah. But he did survive. The goat made it through. So officially the uh, the verdict for this year's goat watch is the goat survived. Yeah. It's, it's, for whatever that will or will not mean, whatever that signifies, you may take this as, as an omen. Of whatever you choose. Personally, I'm team fire because I'm a big fan of fire and you know what? But I'm neutral on it, honestly. At this point. I'm waiting. Someone has got to get got a drone bomb that thing at some point. I'm waiting for it. It's the 21st it's century. Oh. It's either that or somebody's going to like Katniss Everdeen, that mother. Neither. <laughs> uh, let your aim be true. All right. So. Yeah, that's that's the verdict of this year's Goat Watch. Um, but. I want to say, oh, what did you do? Did you watch last week, Sarah, yet? Or Not yet. I need to because uh, I was, I think it's like the first time I haven't been here for the rectal spective. I'm very it's, sorry. It's missing. been a long time. I think it's like yeah. 10 years ago. You, but um, Yeah. Tara, you missed an 88-year-old man with a World War I artillery shell. Up his ass. And a hospital that had to be evacuated because it's an artillery shell. Up his ass. Why was he like saving it to give to Bruce Willis or something? It's just a bunch of old jokes. Dong. Um, you missed that. Y yeah. But I, I will tell wow. you. Even though you you missed the white rectal spectrum, I will tell you this week, Tara, and I'm I I I'm building this up. I know I'm probably gonna disappoint myself. I don't care. The last story we have this week, so happy. I monkeys. No, it's not monkey. But okay. this is a contender. Probably we're already we're the first one of the year. We have a contender for all time best for the year, already. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I clean. What? That's a bold claim. And yet, I'm making it. Each week, Catherine, Freddie, you dad, your audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong? We're going to start with Oh my God. And some crazy fuck. I don't know why businesses do. But when the, the holidays come around, they go and they send out tidings to their customers or, or whatnot. And I guess it's kind of nice, I understand, but it's still weird to me. Because I have no I have no relation to you, Ace Hardware. I don't fucking don't you're not a part of my family, you know? Yeah. But uh this it's like from our family to yours. Well, this this time it backfired spectacularly. I believe this was sent on Christmas to 8,000 patients. I saw this. Holy fuck. Doncaster Surgery sends cancer text message instead of festive message. Now, you might be thinking... It's, it's it's not that bad, is it? Uh, a general practitioner surgery accidentally told patients they had aggressive lung cancer instead of wishing them a Merry Christmas. I hate when I mix those two up. I know. And not the worst. Like, I order my cards every year, and, like, I usually go for the happy holidays because I have... Friends and right. relations of all different faiths. And I hate it when I'm like on Shutterfly putting together my cards and I accidentally pick the you have metastatic lung cancer card. 
Uh, Askern Medical Practice sent the text message to people registered with the surgery center in Doncaster on 23rd of December, which is, to, all right, picture this. You've gotten a message on your phone. Yeah. The day before Christmas Eve. Yeah. That you have an aggressive lung cancer. Everyone in the practice, 8,000 patients, all got it the same day. All the, their phone lines must have just eaten themselves. Yeah. yeah. No one could get through to talk to anyone about this diagnosis sent to their phone. What? Also, like, getting that over text. Like, I literally was diagnosed with breast cancer two weeks before Christmas. That was very hard to take in. But they at least fucking called me. What? The doctor called me and said, do you have a minute to talk? If they just texted me? However, about an hour later, people received a second text telling it was an error and it was meant to wish them a Merry Christmas. It's... Oh, bud. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Christmas, we have provided you all with a free EKG. Jesus Christ. Hold your heart. <laughs> Did it stop for a few minutes? <laughs> but I, I, I honestly, the fact that they, their system even would send you that diagnosis by text is appalling to me. Right. Like, forget, forget the mistake, which is also fucking horrible. But like I said, like two weeks before Christmas, I was diagnosed with cancer. I'm probably going to be okay. But they at least called me. Like, if they texted me, like, hey. And I know. And it's weird saying this, considering we're compared to all the other horrible people. We are relatively youngsters. Um, us were like, I don't want to ever answer the phone again in my life. I kind of understand that. Yeah. But still. Well, they might need to turn me down a little bit. I could hear me up there. Oh, sorry. It's okay. All right. So that's a, but there are other horrible people out there this, this week. Um, Hey, I'm still, I can still hear me. Really? Yeah. There we go. I can barely hear you. You can barely hear me? Where's your head? Yes. I still don't have one to plug into this computer. <laughs> I only have ones with like a lightning cable oh. or the regular jack and i got this new mac and when mac makes new things they change all the plugs so you have to buy more things from them and i don't have headphones to plug into my computer yet and it's a, it's a desktop system what the fuck it doesn't have a headphone jack it only has whatever the newest usb is in USB fact i had to buy a little a little dock to plug in all my regular usb shit because it only has the whatever the it's new a fancy desktop is. computer. That's a basic motherfucking Apple. Jesus Christ! But it's purple. <laughs> My keyboard's purple. I can't lift it, but it's pretty. Well, moving right along. I don't know if you do this. We we so, we've done this before. Um, I do this for our male people. I it didn't occur to me to do it for our sanitation people, but when holidays come around, I'll go out, I'll get them like a, uh, a normally do a Krispy Kreme, like a $25 Krispy Kreme gift card. A dollar Starbucks. I'll, I'll put it because, well, the Krispy Kreme I get because they can share it around the office. You know, they, so I put that, I put that in, in a card, I tape it to the mailbox and I say, thank you for all you do. And, all. So, and, and this is a nice thing to do. Yeah. Um, so, it's it's sort of like the 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 juxtaposition of if there were a heaven and hell, who is and who is not going. Well, I think I might be going to heaven for it. Um, I think these people might not be. 
Two accused of stealing holiday tips left out for sanitation workers in Chester County. There's some mugshots for you right there. Yeah. Pennsylvania pro uh, prosecutors in East Chester County have accused a man and woman of stealing holiday tips left out for sanitation workers. Um, and Farrelly and Adam Thompson, 35, uh, were charged with theft by unlawful taking. I, it's a weird technical way of putting it, but yeah. I don't know. Theft is? Yeah. I guess Aaron would be super specific about it. I don't know what. Um, uh, and other crimes after police allegedly found envelopes labeled trash man in their car during a traffic stop. Um, responding officers located the vehicle and found eight envelopes labeled trash man with gift cards and money spread throughout the car. Investigation concluded that Farrelly and Thompson were actively stealing holiday tips that were left out for sanitation workers by gen generous East Goshen Township, Township residents. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. People. Oh, wait, I might have just gotten this DMC 8. <laughs> anyway, I don't think I sound that much like Karloff, but Jesus Christ. Like, you know how much it must suck being a sanitation worker? Oh, God. Oh, God. Literally, your job is to collect all the stuff other people don't want. For various reasons. Yeah. My garbage is full of big bags of cat poop. Because I have four cats and two litter robots. Yep. You know, like... It's not a, it's not a glamorous job. No. So literally, the least I can do... Yes. Is get them a gift card for some coffee. And then there's these assholes. How, how... I, I actually did worry about that. I was trying to figure out how to give them to mine because they used a big machine on the truck that lifts the can. So I was like, if I tape it to the can, right? are they just going to not see it? And I ended up taping it to the outside of the can. Right. So that they would see it and not dump it. Like, make the yeah, envelope like a real, really weird, stupid, bright color, like hot pink or something. And they'll see the envelope. Even though it's Christmas. Yeah. I know. Um, all right. T when I was stuck for money, much, much, much younger, college, I was, in my brain, there were many options for how to obtain additional funds. Yeah. One of them was mainly donated plasma. A lot. Never in my brain did it go, hey, here's a good way to put aside a little money for the holiday or just after the holiday. There you go. It's, it's, it's perfect. It's a victimless crime, which it is not. In fact, how did your brain go there? How does that fucking happen? Because some people think that everything not nailed down is for them. Well, they, I, I'm hopefully it's going to be interesting to see them carry over that philosophy into incarceration. Good luck with that. Now, next one is I, I poorly. It, it's he's not here this week, and he's going to be. I take such comfort in the fact that he wasn't here this week because Jesus Christ. The lads handle the retrospective, by the way. Oh, they they did well. Um, I had, I, I about lost it, got up to, uh, things that were stuck in people's penises and we got to car key. And I had to be like, I mean, listen, if you got to start it with a key, maybe just look into some supplements. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, this, this sort of your tetanus shots up to date. This somehow has become Luke's purview against his will. Bless his heart. Drunken, poor yeah, poor Luke. Drunken man poops on PT Cruiser, tells hospital staff his blood will be, quote, pure natural ice. Kalamazoo, Missouri. Like beer? Uh, yes, like a beer. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Conservation Arc officers with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources recently had an encounter is hard to believe. According to an official report, the bizarre incident occurred in early December. Uh, the man in the vehicle, 
was a, a PT per, cruiser parked at one of the uh, state game area in Kalamazoo County. Man in the vehicle said he parked there to listen to the owls. They wanted to be left alone. They noticed an open tall container of naturalized beer in the cup holder. It's the man on a scale of 1 to 10 how drunk he was. And he responded with, quote, I'm at a 5. I'll be honest, I'm drunk. Okay, I just wanted to fill everyone in on this. If, if you didn't know, that whole points for honesty thing, yeah, that's not real. No one gives you, no one, no one gives you points. No one's going to be like, well, you were honest about it. So I'm going to. Well, you told the truth. Although, I mean, if he's in, if he's not drunk, like, I know you can't have an open container in a car, but like he was just sitting there listening to the owls. So he says, based on the response, the officers being had conducting sobriety tests, partway through, the man made a face of shock, grabbed his rear, dropped his pants to his ankles, and began defecating on the rear bumper of his PT Cruiser. Now look. I know the PT Cruiser is a terrible car. Aww. I always is, wanted one of those. There, there it's, yeah, you should. There, there, there's just, the, that's a, there's a type for the, like an era of the PT Cruiser, you know? But even I would not go so far to go pooping, uh, literally. I just, that, that don't but seem right. He noted that he had a face to shut, like, hey, sometimes it sneaks up on you. Especially after a lot of beer. <laughs> yes, he shed. People start RPG Oligan and channel is like, well, at least he shit on his own car. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, let's be honest. If there is one thing that unites all of us in the human race, every single one of us, it is that at some point in our lives, we have had an embarrassing gastrointestinal incident. Oh, yes. Every single one of us. Christmas Eve, I had to make my nephew pull over on the side of the highway so I could throw up. Yay! Don't get on a plane the day after you have chemo. It, it, it's, it's fucking... That's a bad idea. The kids can drive now. I know. Jesus. I know. And he's, he's a good driver. And I feel bad because I actually vomited in his car a little bit. I didn't make it out of the car, and I was mortified by that. But he took it in stride. He was like, yeah, it's all right. You know, I got a friend who works at a car wash. He'll detail it for free. He's um, a good kid. He was arrested and taken to the hospital for a blood draw. On the way there, the man noticed that uh, one of the officers was using his GPS and said, quote, man, I'm the drunk one here, and I have to give you directions on how to take me to jail, you moron. <laughs> During the blood draw, the man also mentioned the nurses were not drawing his blood but instead said, quote, it's all beer. Not going to lie to you. Pure, natural, iced. <laughs> okay. okay. You have the right to remain silent, but not always the ability. Yeah. <laughs> I just I can imagine the court case. The judge is looking at you like, well, um... Do we have to do the whole thing, or just gonna, can we speed this along? Hilarious if he pleads not guilty. <laughs> and they'll be like, sir, let's just play the body cam footage. I was doing a bit, your honor. It was a bit. I was doing a bit. Of you, like, saying you're drunk and then pooping on your own car. Right. It was for TikTok, your honor. Yeah, I mean, it's for, it's for you too. <laughs> Very important. YouTuber. Oh, next one. It's Florida, and I don't understand. Sometimes with these impersonation things, where the people try to pull this shit off, I'm baffled at what exactly they try to pull. Like, a regular cop or something, like a detective. Sure, that's plausible. But, like, special super CIA agent shit. You'll, I'm going to tell you right now, in your life, Unless you already know someone who works there, you're never going to encounter one of those people and know it. You're just not. They don't announce that. Yet. I mean, that literally is the whole job is not announcing that. But this guy, 
tried to go against type. Give everybody a little thrill. Madeira Beach, uh, Madeira Beach man impersonated Air Force special agent at smoke shop. Does the Air Force have those? They do not. <laughs> man was accused of impersonating a U.S. Air Force special agent. According to Pinellas County Sheriff's Office arrest report, Stephen Scott, 37, entered higher up smoke shop. On December 10th, with a gold badge hanging from his neck and asking shop employees for help with a, quote, Delta-8 project. Delta-8 is a legal form of THC, the main psychoactive compound found in marijuana, commonly sold at smoke shops and other establishments that are not permitted to sell medical marijuana in Florida. Debbie says, Debbie said Scott showed shop workers a business card that said, quote, Stephen Scott, United States Air Force Office of Special Investigations, he allegedly hand-wrote special agent on the card and told employees he was a special agent. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, there are things you can hand-write on a business card that's plausible. It's like, my numbers changed. Here you go. Or, now I've, now I've been promoted. Here's my new title. Special agent isn't one of those. Was it in crayon? <laughs> also, I'm Lord Salway. <laughs> if it's a legal product to buy, why was this necessary? Right? Store management felt compelled to search inventory records because of Scott's words and actions. So they bought it. But again, it's a head shop. So, yeah. I mean. Wow, man. You, you got you got any aliens? I, I would have been disappointed if he couldn't put this over on a bunch of stoners, honestly. I just can't put together why it was necessary. Sheriff's office reached out to the Office of Special Investigations. It learned Scott was previously employed there, so there is an Office of Special Investigations, but never held the title of, quote, special agents. They keep putting that in quotes here. His employment ended in 2016. So he hasn't been involved with them for oh six seven years arrested on december 30th and charged with falsely impersonating an officer of the law and the the mug shot is just that's spectacular he's just giving you the eye on that one he definitely has like a first printing alistair crowley look at this guy I, I, I don't understand. Like, you're, you're right. I don't get what was going on here. Why was this necessary? Like. Just go in and be like, I would like one weed, please. I wanted to look through their records and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. And now, and now you're in jail. You dumb shit. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, we're almost to the great, almost to the great. We're going to get there. This one is from Scarborough. No, is this? No, this is Scarborough. This is uh, from uh, Indianapolis. All right. Different one. I I am often blamed the talk, talkie box in the car or for a bad drive. Like I've said famously in the past, like one of them tried to drive me into trees and said there was a road there. One tried to drive me into water. So, you know, I, I've done that. But I don't think that's going to work on this one because uh, there were, shall we say, extenuating circumstances. A woman, 33-year-old woman, arrested after allegedly driving across icy downtown canal. Uh, Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department arrested a 33-year-old woman for drunk driving after she allegedly drove onto the frozen downtown canal Sunday night and continued until she broke through the ice, plunging her car into the frigid water. We got pictures down there. Oh, boy, did she go through. Uh, the driver identified as 33-year-old uh, uh, Bianca Lorraine Gleason gone down an embankment to get on the canal and then drove north 
She went north until she reached a dead end at 10th Street and turned around and go south. Her car broke through the ice in the 400 block of West uh, New York Street. So she was just out there driving back and forth and fucking around until finally the river said, Done. I've, I've had all I can stands. I can't stands no more. And th- she survived that? She got out of the car with the help of several bystanders and waited in the lobby of a nearby hotel. Police were called to the area. When they arrived, said nobody was in the vehicle. Bystanders helped police find Gleason. So they're like, she went that way. Divers with the Indianapolis Fire Department had to be called to remove the car from the canal. And that was, what night was this? Oh, that was this, that was just after, no, December 26th. Now, I got to point out, December 26th, if you don't know, since uh, Christmas was on the 25th, uh, on a Sunday this year, uh, that means if you were a, a federal employee or whatnot, your day off it was technically on a Monday. You get a free paid day off on that Monday the 26th. And what happened on Monday the 26th? This one had to drive her fucking car to the fucking lake. So the fire department had to come to get, they had to rescue her car. Not her, she was fine. Lisa told firefighters her GPS took her onto the canal. So it was arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. Did it occur to you when there wasn't an easy access point? She went down an embankment. <laughs> When you're like, wow, this road's really fucking hard to get to. (laughs) Pause. (laughs) But that would give me pause. Then again, I wouldn't be driving around shit-faced, because that's a bad thing to do. Computer on it says she'll have a real icebreaker of a story to give her inmate. It's terrible. That's... (laughs) I love how she got on the ice to begin with and was just like, I am going to push my fucking luck. Let's go. This will be fun. Of, you know the part of the novel American Gods where Shadow's hanging out in a little town mm-hmm. and they have like, they put an old car on the lake and, and you they bet. bet. Yeah. On a day it breaks through. You could have done a speed run of that. Somebody quick thinking could have been like, how long is it going to be guys? How long is it going to be? I'm just kind of impressed how long it took. Yeah. This is like back. uh, Monday morning, 13 News went to the area where the incident happened and saw tire tracks on the ice. (laughs) The only time you should be driving on ice is if you're in like a Zamboni. Look, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to, to, to put this up here so you can see, but yeah, you can look real hard. You can see the tire tracks going back. She was gone a long ass way back and forth on that fucking guy. Like she was, she was into it. You can be alive because alcohol thins your blood, which makes hypothermia easier to kill you, but harder for you to detect because you're impaired. And this road is really wide. A lot of drunks freeze to death outside because they don't know how cold they are. I don't, I don't even see the lines on it. It's so weird. It's a big road. I'm like, why is nobody else on this road? All right, now we come to it. This is without, and when you first read it, okay, I, I want to tell you, this is from Sky News. So when you first read it, you're like, I don't get it, Ash. Why, why is this so great? First of all, get a little build this. Put some layers on this one. Um, I hate fireworks these days because I have pets. You have pets and small children. You kind of hate fireworks. Yeah. I wish the fireworks around here would stop. They never. But, I mean, we had our outdoor cats. Every holiday is a fireworks holiday now. Like when did New Year's Eve become a fireworks holiday? A long time ago, but really, yeah. New Year's Eve has been like fireworks for like forever. It's like maybe something it's, like St. Patrick's it's Day. Because, like, they do fireworks here in Denver, and I'm like, why? Just it, drop something out of the sky. That's what you do. No, it's 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 it's, it's like St. Patrick's Day being a fireworks holiday. That's weird. Yeah. 
So I wish I had the ability to just make them stop. And this guy, his name is Thor, came up with a way to make the fireworks start stop. And I also have to point out this guy, whose name is Thor, is also a walrus. But wait, keep it. We're, we're, we have layers here. Trust me. Scarborough's New Year's fireworks canceled to protect Thor the walrus. Scarborough continues to attract large crowds to see the Arctic walrus, but experts warn anyone who disturbs the mammal could be prosecuted. Seaside Town's New Year's fireworks were canceled on the advice of wildlife experts due to the presence of a wandering walrus. Leave the mammals, come to be known as Thor, popped up in Scarborough, uh, the New Yorkshire, uh, in North Yorkshire on uh, Friday afternoon. The Arctic walrus is believed to be taking a break during a journey north. He was previously spotted uh, on the Hampshire coastline last month. Scarborough, uh, for... wait a minute, Colonel, don't worry, go baby. Yeah, wait for it, Tara. It's gonna, it's gonna get, okay. Um, the unusual visitor has attracted large crowds. They are said to have witnessed some playful behavior. Okay. Now, I want, not content to just be a walrus. Thor found a way, specific way, that they didn't report on in Sky News, but trended on Twitter under the hashtag, well, you'll see in a second. And I'm not playing this video. I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm not playing this video. There's a walrus lost in Scarborough. He's <laughs> just decided to knock one out in front of us, all on the pier, no fucks given. So I mean, one fucking minute. Thor took Mignon, Mignon, Mjolnir in hand. His mighty hammer. And he stopped the fireworks. No, if you want to see this video, you go look it up. I ain't putting this shit on YouTube. I am not get I am not getting my channel kicked off YouTube because I put up a video of a walrus yanking it, okay? If you want to see a walrus yanking it, go find the video yourself. You can Google. It had never occurred to me that their flippers are actually long enough to do that. I mean, I'm impressed. I we Tonight, we've learned something. We've learned that walruses can jack it. Yeah, I, I was not aware of that. Wow. I just, I love him. I love him. He stood astride the holiday. And by taking his hammer in hand, he said, you shall not pass. I love him. He should have got a big year fireworks. <laughs> right here. You want to see a bottle rocket? <laughs> he, he certainly gave them a show. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah so sky news wasn't going to put the bit about him just cranking one out i mean there's a reason they call him the god of thunder um good for you thor you live your best life <laughs> fucking, i fucking love him i love him so much he stopped the fireworks and he did it in the most amazing way. And like, once you know that, <laughs> Sky is saying they are said to have witnessed some playful behavior <laughs> as a master class in British understatement. It's beautiful. Oh. Like, really, nobody can understate something. Like the English. Can you imagine the pyrotechnician is coming home? Well, honey, I thought you were you were setting up the, the, the what happened. You're not gonna fucking believe this. You're not gonna. Fuck yes. this. We got the night off because the walrus is jerking off. <laughs> if you quit your job, if you lost your job again, just say so. <laughs> 
no, I swear, look at the news. There's a walrus jerking off. We, we, we can do the fireworks. <laughs> oh, I, I love, I love him. I just, he's so amazing. It's been... Not Thor. Fuck yes. <laughs> this is why I told you this is, this is like, we have a walrus jerking off first show of the year. We are off I mean, to a be top. We're off to a roaring start. How do we beat that? So um, okay, well I guess what we learned tonight is walruses can crank one out. Yeah. I was not aware of that. Walruses can just slam it around. Just flip it up, slap it, rub it down. Oh no. Whoa! His face. I'm sorry, I gotta bring it back up. His face is be I love. Just that. Look at that face. <laughs> the video is worth looking up. If anybody has it yet, you you do it yourselves. I am not getting. I am not getting kicked off of fucking YouTube for walrus dick. Sorry. Now some of you are going. You won't. National Geographic, I'm not risking it. He stopped a fireworks show. God only knows what his dick can do. Oh, we have learned. Hmm? He is mighty. We have learned uh, where the phrase uh, skating on thin ice may have come from. You know, in this case, it was driving. Um, Jesus Christ. We've learned if you're going to try and fool some some stoners, you don't have to be like Air Force Special. You could have just said, like, I'm Detective Bob. Show me your shit. Okay. This is fine. Like, wait, bring it down a little bit. Be a little more plausible. Um, We've learned that right to remain silent does not always mean ability. <laughs> Sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. Sometimes it sneaks up on you. Um, we've learned that uh, if if you uh, there are actual Grinches who, who will steal like the well, they didn't steal the the roast who beast or whatever, but you know. Jeez. And finally, we learned that uh, Sending holiday greetings is good, but maybe you want to double check before you hit send to 8,000 people. <clears throat> Proofread some shit. Very important. <laughs> the wall. Somebody got honored over that one for sure. I love the fucking walrus. <laughs> Like, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs>